Yeah. Ray, playing some Eternal. Been meaning to do this a while, but the way my computers are set up, eh, you know, need to play more online games and record it. But anyway, um, yeah, so the new set is out. I got a few packs of it. Let's crack those packs and then let's play a game with two or three. Never keep the audio on. Let me cut the audio on. Keep. Uh, never have the audio on. Never play on this computer either. Alright, new set. Four packs of the new set. There's hardly anything, but yeah, let's open the old packs first. Pack. Unleashed packs, you have, I think, a 1 in 4 chance of getting two rares or better. That's an uncommon in blue, I believe. Another uncommon, he sucks. And three uncommons in a row, it sucks. Alright, new pack. Only gotten four of the strings. Yeah, I mean, I've only played a little bit. My main game right now is Mythgard, but this is my long time main game. But uh, let's check these new cards out. Okay, uh, yeah, and I played once. I've only really noticed like one new card from the new set being played so far. Played a few times since it dropped. But uh, Praxis Silex, I guess this is the other colors of the Silexes. They're kind of. Finishing that out, Ballista Marksman, pay five to give another unit plus one plus one and flying this turn for each of your units. This is actually an old card, so this set also includes old cards. I think that's an old card. Maybe not. Desperado. Okay, infantry killing an enemy unit. Seems like it's old. It might be new. All right, but anyway, uh, next pack. Hey, Ever Burning Beacon. I've been rocking with this same red, yellow, green deck for the longest. But uh, Ever Burning Beacon, 7 drop, 3 red. When you play a unit, it deals its attack and damage to an enemy of your choice. When you play a unit, it deals its attack and damage to an enemy of your choice. Seems too costly for my build. But yeah, it does have old cards because, of course, Seek Power, that's all it is. The first set, I believe, Rift Crystal. Summon gain an influence of your choice when you play a non-power card of that faction, sacrifice Rift Crystal to draw a card. You play a non-power card of that faction, sacrifice Rift Crystal to draw a card. Alright, shenanigans. Alright, let's see this Steel Worn Responder. War Cry. 3 drop, 1-1, one, one, red, green. Draw a weapon, summon, draw a weapon of your choice from the top 7 cards of your deck. And give it plus one, plus one, bottom the rest. That ain't bad at all. Three drop for a one one with the uh, top deck seven. Get a weapon, plus one, plus one it. They could maybe get added to the deck. I don't know. All right, uh, Star Mole and Power. Star Mole deals double damage this turn. I'm just really only interested in mostly the green, red, and yellow cards. Coastal Creator can't attack unless you play the spell this turn. Gleaming Crawler, 3 draw, 2-2, two, two, in tune, draw, two, plus 2, plus 2, versatile weapon. Alright, Coin Bray, Cone Bray, Silex, green, yellow. Yeah, like I could probably use that. I'm trying to think if I run Silexes. No, I don't, because you gotta wait till turn 3 at least until they are non-tap lane, so... I don't wear them right now. 
Alright, uh, 6 drop, camp minus 6 drop, uh, 6 4 charge, summon nightfall, yellow hold at bay, put 2 attacking enemy units into their owner's hands, and increase their cost by 2. Alright, here's some real. Okay, this is a double rare or uncommon slot. Okay, another uncommon silex. Okay. Yeah, it seems like some pretty whack packs, but um Yeah, let's play a few games. I only really saw that hunt mechanic. The hunt mechanic played against me. I just played a few times, but this is my main deck right here. But uh that hunt mechanic was it had a weird graphic to it. It was like I beat the deck that was playing it, but we did some kind of crap to where I forgot what the hunt mechanic did, but, but I mean, let's play a few games. Let's see if we run into it, though. But it seemed rather lackluster to me, though. Play green, yellow, land, sigil, red. Do not approach the caravan. I never play with these sounds, though. Okay, they did something. I don't even know what that was that they did. But they bounced a hand for some reason. Alright. Play another dual land, dual sigil. This is one of the new colors right here. Let's see what that does. Oh, I guess that was like he got to play that. I really don't know why he exposed that card for some reason. But uh, anyway, Volin Pell Rider 4 4 for 4. Normally I would have a board wiping in, but not right now. Uh, let's play this red. Yeah, I'm in a kind of tough spot right here. I got four guys on field threatening 10 damage, and I got no defenders. So I might just lose this one. Drop my good guys, too. This is my main guy from the deck. Throw this four drop right here. It can't die unless it has less than one health. Basically, got to get silenced. Yeah, I'm pretty much done unless I top deck a board wipe right here. <laughs> yeah, board wipe, baby. All right, uh, that uh, that uh, that relic that I played, I can uh, warp in my top deck, which I will do right now, just to uh, cycle the deck a little more. Gain an influence in a faction of one of your heroes in hand. I got a red green hero right here. My finisher, my boss monster. All right, uh, let's play that green so I can play her. Hopefully, that, that I mean, hopefully in hand they don't have any more charging guys. But I'm gonna just board wipe. Hopefully they don't have any more charging guys. This is turn. Get all up in the camera's face. Girl, God smiles on me. All right, and now I need another board wipe. Looks like. Girl, God smiles on me. They got a big eight. Do not approach the caravan. All right, still need to top deck a eight or like a scry land. Hmm. All right, all right, I need to top deck a board wipe or a scry land. Alright, there goes the land I can use, but come on, let me get a board wipe. Top deck the board wipe, come on. No whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, no whammies. Board wipe, board wipe. 
I can't even play the top deck. I yeah, I'm tripping. All right, yeah, I lost this one. They just came in hot. So um, yeah, nothing I can do. Just let them go and finish me off. That's abnormal, but that's one thing I love about this game, though. It's so fast. What was that, like five minutes? Whole game. All right, let's go back in, though. 749. All right, I only got uh, two potential lands, so let's redraw. Two potential manas. All right, yellow green. Three out of seven. Um, and in this game, they massage your hand, so you have at least one land, one mana card every draw or something like that. But guaranteed at least one mana, I believe. I play a tap land. Play tap land with the. Now this lady right here, she uh, whenever she dies, she gets to give her life steal ability to somebody else who's on my field. Skills. All right, let's draw a red mana, red sigil, in order to hopefully play this. My real game winner right here, Arcanum Truth Heart. On turn four, hopefully. And let's go ahead and play another Gold Meat Blade Outcast. And pass. Now it's my turn. This is the Liliana of the game. Very important staple card. Uh, so whenever that's played, I can either sack a guy or give Vera a plus two, plus two counters. But I'll sack my Exalt guy, which is going to give plus one, plus one, and the powers I, I already have to the Ghost Blade Outcast. Oh yeah, and if I don't sack a guy, that also gets Deadly, which is Death Strike. Alright, didn't get the red mana, but I can... Gonna go ahead and spin two to get a mystery mana card. And since I have a hero that's red and yellow or green and red, I can get access to all my colors. So play a red, so I'll play this one next turn. My uh, my main card. Fast turn. Don't want to let Vera kill me, so I just let him hit me. Uh. And of course, he got annihilated, so I'm hoping to draw into a boar wife here soon. I'll watch through the night. All right, I got my um, I got my guy out though. I got my can bring my guy out. I got two plays. I could uh play this guy right here, Varbolk, Hand of Anarchy. Which gets to uh, summon, kill an enemy multi-faction, enemy unit, or relic, which is that guy. But what I'll do, though, is I will... Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll play my staple card, Arcane of True Heart. Pretty much got Invincible or whatever. Which is Arcane of True Heart can't die if it has any attack. When it attacks, it gets plus one, plus one, then increase this ability by plus one, plus one. Trust in your skills. Yeah, so this guy, when it attacks your units with two or more battle skills, they gain plus one, plus one this turn. So hopefully I can just draw a board wipe pretty soon. Get this guy up out of here, but I'm down to eight life, which sucks. 
Alright, let's um Man, I got no Hmm. Yeah, once again I'm in that precarious position. I really got no good place. This this blows. Uh yeah, I don't even have the mana to bring out my little divining rod. So it's only one guy on the ground I'm playing flyer, so I guess best move Somebody is to well kill this flyer, so you're gonna come at me with six on the crack bag. I got two life left. Yep, if he has any way to pump one of those flyers, I'm out of there. Oh, that's eight? How did... Oh, because there's two of them. So they bump up plus two, plus two. So I'm just out of there. GG. Whatever. <laughs> two losses, man. They're making me look bad, man. No good. Smoke me. All right, let's go game three. Hopefully I can get a pack with something good at least. Come on. But yet again, what was that? Five minutes game again? Love them quick games. All right, three, three mana. Um, Naoki, she turns into a mana if I play her on turn one, so, which I will do. Right, so let's drop her first. Uh, we need a yellow. No yellow in hand. Play this Skyland. Tap Skyland. And yeah, alright, some stuff we haven't seen yet. Vote the Auto Force. This guy can be recurred from the grave by sacking the relic. Like that guy. Uh, both of these are tap lands, so can't can't play them straight out until turn four. You can't play them untapped until turn four. Alright, I should win this one at least. Uh, Alright, play my land untapped this turn because it's turn four. I can come out with this one or I could just come in swinging, which I'm going to come in swinging is what I'm going to do. Come in swinging. We fight to survive. Play exalted. And uh, this keyword right here, uh, Valor, is it gets plus one, plus one for each unit that blocks it. Endurance or whatever is, um, forget what they call it in magic, but you know. All right. Yeah, pretty much. I got this game in the bag, it looks like. Okay, so put my plus three, plus three. This weapon comes back from the grave if I have eight or more power. So, uh, attach that there. So, even if she dies, then she gets to put a plus four, plus four, four weapon on somebody else and lifesteal. One of your units flying and overwhelm, and also gets plus two, plus two. So, they want to take out my monkey signal. Roll hammer. But that's all. Then I could draw that from the void if I want to. I should have killed that relic. Well, no, that's not a relic. That's an artifact. All right, so I will pass turns. What I'll do. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Meta Mayhan, Meta Man, Meta Man. Uh, he used to play Eternal. And uh, shout out to Card Game Emporium. He used to play Emporium, but it got too costly. I mean, it's finally getting 
a little costly to me. I haven't spent a dime on this game. The only thing I did was buy the uh, the actual physical deck building dueling game. But I've been able to build a good collection because this was like pretty much the only game I played for the longest. But now I played this in Mythgard. Need to play some more Snap, but just, just haven't really got around to it like that. And it's not available on PC yet, is it? I haven't found it on PC. Alright, what are they gonna do? You wanna use flame? Plus two, plus two. Alright, you know what? I'm not even tripping because I can give her power to the Volk, the Auto Forge. I hope you didn't even do it. Alright, then I'll play that turn. What I really need to do is I need to stream one day. I need to get on Twitch and stream one day. Have like three three viewers build it up. Okay, yeah, now they're going hard, but the beauty is I can always board wipe. If I had a freaking uh, mana though. I mean if I had one more mana. Alright, let's just, uh, okay, so this one, whenever they have six loyalty to green, they get plus two, plus two, which they already have six, so I guess it already has plus two, plus two, and then when they have eight loyalty to green, then devotion to green, when Kira attacks with another attacking unit, her um, attack and defense, Power and toughness. I'm trying to think if I want to let you fall back or go ahead and swing you too. I'll just swing her so hopefully I draw into some land and then just board wipe. I give her stats to Volk. And you know, I'm not doing anything else with this, so I'll just spend it. Bring you out. I should have did that before. I swung, really. But then I'll play you out because that's a signal. I get to recur from the grave, from the void. Then I got two blockers. Alright, got the boy wave, so I'm pretty made in the shade. And then I got this five drop haster with endurance and exalted like the other person in the grave. And yeah, bring you out. Hold the line. Swing for 16 for lethal. If they don't block. And if they block with the yeah, lethal. Alright, finally got a game. Alright, didn't see any new cards. I don't think this set is all that great so far, even though I've only played less than 10 games of it, but maybe people just aren't playing the new cards yet. But hey, got another pack. Let's see what that pack is talking about. Give me a real rare this time. Or Mystic. Let's check that pack. All right, so that yellow, that yellow, glowing yellow, that indicates that it's a rare or mythic? Rare. I think it only goes up to the yellow, that's the highest. And then it goes gray, common, green, uncommon. Blue, blue is actually rare, but it's not all that rare. Blue is rare, I believe. And then the yellow is the mythic. Yeah. So I got a few rares, but yeah. All right, uh, Karina Embercaster, four drop, two red, four three, charge and war cry. The stuff that I like, you, you can see it in a summon exhausting energy. I mean, exa summon exhausting enemy unit, and if it has endurance, deal six damage to it instead. Exhausting enemy unit. 
Yeah, I'm going to throw that right in the deck. Why don't I? Yeah. Four drop, four three, two red, charging war cry. War cry is whenever it swings, it gives plus one, plus one to the top unit of the deck. Which might be kind of, well, I mean, you could do that with counters and magic too. But yeah, summon exhausted enemy unit if it has endurance, still at six damage instead. Yeah, I'm throwing that right in the deck, Karina. Talk about them cards ain't good. This one seems pretty good. Karina. Alright, find that Karina. Search it up. Well, let's go through the cards. Red is the first color of the five. Get a look at the card pool. Sweetheart. And then I guess after I drop this, I'm going to go ahead and drop the uh, my uh, opening of the physical card game of this. ABT, K, Karina. K, four drop, Karina, Karina. All right. I could create some more. I got like 98,000 of this. I got 98,000 of this currency to make stuff, but I have no coins now. So they would want me to spend money to get coins or just grind all day, which I'm not going to do. So I'm kind of broke in the game as far as coins right now. But yeah, 98. And, and you have to buy the set too in order to... Oh, maybe not. No, this set is just open to the public. So I just bought an extra one too. So I ain't tripping though. I got plenty of that uh, shift stone or whatever you call it. All right, just not gonna even worry about uh, being over 75. You ought to keep, uh, you usually wanna keep just 75 cards in your deck, but just for the sake of whatever, I'm just, uh, and like in this game too, you have to have, you gotta maintain at least one third mana cards, which is kinda, kinda BS, but, but I'll just add one more. So now I'm at 84 cards, I'm way over, but I'll come back and fix it later. I could get the place out of that card, but let me see how much I like it though in play. All right, it's 27 minutes. I mean, I mean, let's go for an hour. Feel like a real live streamer, baby. here. Uh, let's read the lore. As Argonport's defenses were at last overwhelmed, the clans ran right through the city streets. <laughs> Quick question for the viewers, though. Whenever y'all are playing these online games, how often do y'all see the same users? With Eternal, I see a lot of regulars myself. All right, I can take two damage to gain an influence of my choice, which I will do since I've only got a red mana in hand and then I got a tutor right here draw a sigil of my choice yes yeah, so I'll go ahead and grab the yellow take two damage grab the yellow aka time and he got some wonderful art um yeah so in talking to the two people that I know through the internet that play this game they just basically said, I guess it got too costly to keep playing it. Or they got better games to play. Like, you know, these games, they just wanted to, to grind and grind and grind or pay the money. So instead of paying the money, of course, I just grinded and grinded. I just love the game. All right, let's uh, play the fire sigil. And then let's tutor out the green justice sigil. Justice, time, and fire. Justice. Yeah, so the color identities, red is of course burn and charge. Green is your, green is more like your white. 
because green has a lot of um protection. Aegis, Aegis is like uh, invulnerable. It blocks you from one spell. The cool thing about this too is like you get a little aura when you're protected from a spell around you that you can visibly see. I've only played uh, uh, I've only played Magic Arena like a handful of times. I can't recall if they do that or not. Play. Yeah, let's come through and charge out. Charge out. Yeah, so endurance. This guy doesn't tap after it. Ready's at the end of the turn, of course. Valor. This unit gets plus one, plus one for each unit that blocks it. I really should have played this, <laughs> so he wouldn't have war cried on me again. All right, you did something to me, reckless. Okay, so that guy comes in, ETBs makes me reckless, makes somebody reckless. So I'll block here. You don't have any mana, plus you uh you spent three. There's a thing like called debt. That right there is three is so available power spent towards debt. So next time they'll have next turn they'll have three less mana, which I like that very much. So I blocked, and the next turn they're not gonna have any mana because they well they can get one if they uh, drop a land card. All right, uh, I got four, or I can play this tap land, but I'll play the yeah I'll play. Mm, with this card right here, I get to scry the top deck. Not scry, but just I can lick at the top deck. I can warp it in if I can play it, if I can afford it. So the question is, do I play that or do I just put a body on the field? This has reckless, so this has to attack. So this is going to die. So what I'll do is I can also put this guy on the bottom of their deck, which don't seem like such a bad move right now. And I will play that scry land. Okay, got a board wipe. I'll keep a board wipe in hand. Keep a board wipe on top deck and swing since I have to. Fast turn. I want to play. I want to see my new card and see how it plays for me. All right, got a uh, five man. I have to swing. Take two damage. Yeah, I will. Get a red. They're not going to block. Your turn. Which newest game y'all the most excited about? Lorcana, Battle Spirits, Grand Archive. Me, I'm gonna say Battle Spirits. I'll play Battle Spirits. Oh, and I got a crap ton of boxes coming too. So be on the lookout for them Battle Spirits boxes and the starters too. I'm not gonna let one piece happen to me again. When I go hard on the game, then the game doesn't end up doing well. But hopefully that's not the case with Battle Spirits though. All right, they must have something to kill my guy because they're swinging. So I guess I just won't block. Yeah, I won't block. They must have had a fireball in hand or something. Alright, got two board wipes. I doubt they'll be able to beat me. There goes my guy, so I can warp it in. I can play it from top deck. What's the deck building game? That also does an excellent implementation of too. But yeah, let's play this. Charging Swiftness. Karina Embercaster from the top deck. And then we're gonna go hard. Swing and five. Alright, so that guy, it was the it kinda auto did it for me. I liked it. So it just auto tapped down this uh Rakano outlaw because that's the only unit they had. And it's tapped down now. Oh, I mean it should have been tapped. Oh, it must have endurance. I don't really even know what happened. Summon, exhaust, an enemy unit if it has endurance still six damage to it instead. 
Okay, I guess they ready at the beginning of the turn. They're playing a lot of key fours, I guess. But yeah. But they can't block is all they can do, so that might not even be that great, like I'm thinking. I'll raise you a thousand. All right, some kind of lawyer. Jacqueline Huffman, Charles Tom, War Cry. Okay, they're using one of the new mechanics, I think. Nope, I guess not. Kathleen Hustler, Charge, Taunt. Oh, Taunt, Taunt was from the last set. I never really too much encounter it. But Taunt is this unit must be blocked if possible. And yeah, I guess I gotta block it. <laughs> Taunt can really screw you. Taunt and work right his turn. Taunt can really screw you because you'll just be. They gotta get blocked. Oh, yeah, yep, I got this game in the bag, of course. Alright, take another land. No. Put that on bottom. And come through swinging with 13, which is lethal. Which you can block for. No, that's 15. But they can block for 7, which would not be lethal. And then two of my guys are war cranes, so that's, uh. Banish the dark. No, one of my guys got like, one more crime. So I got a plus one plus one counter on the top of the deck. Yeah, game over. Deal seven damage to my guy, but I get a sigil for that. And then it has exalted, so I'll play the stats on there. And they quit. GG. All right, 37 minutes. Get another pack and maybe get out of here. All right, units with intrigue can disguise themselves as a five cost stealth units by paying two extra power. They will remain five cost units until they leave play. Yeah, people didn't play that for long. The stealth, I don't recall people playing that too long. Uh, Island resumed her rightful place by law in conquest. Keeping it will prove to be another matter. Uh, outside of major settlements, lawlessness, and banditry rule. That's the rebels. Rebel gunslingers. No, that's the gunslingers. Rebels are a different thing, I think. Rebels are Midgard, I think. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Oh well, you know. Purity Seven. I just kind of made a name. I need to change this to Folio Games. What I need to do. Uh, yeah, keep that in. Yeah, for me, as you can see, this is just a swiftness deck mainly, with other little things in it. But uh, use you to make a manner. What do I need? I need a. Let's grab a. Green. This deck calls for two yellows, three greens, and three reds. Man, I wonder if that duelist uh, open beta now. Used to dig duelist. Watch this. <laughs> okay, that's the mechanic right there. That's the hunt. Seems rather lackluster. Okay, so they did the thing. They did the hunt. So summon hunt one. That's a new mechanic. The enemy player discards that many cards from the top of their deck. The hunter gets plus one, plus one for each nine power discarded. And you draw an advantage with plus one power for each power discarded. So advantage, I guess that's some kind of card in hand with plus one power. So temporary power, I guess, for each power discarded. Okay.
All right, so what they get like that? Two drop, one one with hunt one. All right, uh, what am I playing? Play a yellow. Yeah, take the life loss, you get a yellow. Last turn. All right, let's read it one more time. The enemy player discards that many cards from the top of their deck. The hunter gets plus one, plus one for each nine power card discarded. And you draw an advantage with plus one power for each power discarded. One thing I like about the game, Mythgard, whenever you draw a card from like from like the token deck or something, they'll put that card face up in your hand so you know what that card is. That's not necessarily just the best way to do things, but it's different though. Alright, um, let's play a red. Alright, so I can put that blue card on the bottom of their deck with this one. I mean, if it's plus, I mean, if it's uh, blue or purple, but I'll just pass turn. Flying in Aegis, this is what I'm talking about, that Aegis, so like they're protected from a spell, one spell. Until they lose that blue aura around them. When Blur Wing Raider hits the enemy player, it hunts one. Okay, so they're going to be hunting me again. Okay, that's a fool. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and instead of letting you just ramsack me, I'm going to play this spell to put you on the bottom of the deck, but you have Aegis, so you won't go, but you'll lose the Aegis. Then whenever I get some mana, then I can just board wipe you. Okay, I couldn't use that anyway. They helped me, bringing me closer to the mana. All right, so my little um, top deck warp card. Hopefully, you show me a mana or a top deck it next turn. All right, so that guy, that guy is pretty good, Blur Wing Raider, because it comes with the Aegis and it hunts when it hits. A couple more nails. Watch this. One thing I wish they did though is like put the set symbol on the actual card, like in real cards. Because like if you're not paying real close attention, you don't know what set the card came from. No way to tell. I mean it's digital, they can put it anywhere. Alright, but yeah, they doing a fool with this deck though, but I need to run into a mana. No mana. Yep, 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 yep. This is the crap right here. Alright, so they got nine in the air flying. I could maybe get away with, uh, I mean, if they don't pump these flyers, that's the only chance I have is by them not pumping the we flyers. To survive. Okay, I could get greedy and play this if they don't have a pump spell and gain some life, life link. Or I could be smart and try to board wipe next turn with the mana that I get from this uh, tutor right here. This tutor right here, I pay two mana and then I get to get the top land card, which could be a tap land, which I draw into, which would screw me too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and be greedy. Last turn. Alright, this one might be a close one. Hopefully you don't have any kind of pump spells. But they have seven cards in hand, surely they do. Do what you gonna do, man. Play one copy of your units, they both get hunt. As long as you don't have charge, it's all gravy. Alright, so I get another chance, I get another lease on life. Just need to draw a ready land is what I need. Alright, I need to draw a ready land is what I need. Killing me, smalls. Okay, didn't even see no land fall out of there. So, all right, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get rid of this land. 
Let's grab a one of my heroes. Let's grab a green. Swing you to get five life and then board wipe. Hopefully they don't block. Alrighty, get board wipe. Alright, so they got some temporary power cards in hand, I think. That's the uh, kind of majority of their hand at this point, I think, maybe. If that's how that works, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they heavy on this hunt stuff. Okay, there goes all my land clumped up together is what's happening. But all I need is, well, I really don't need any more land draws right now. Already got my big seven. Finisher. We charge. Aegis. Endurance. Flying. And what? What the buzz just happened? Okay. I don't even know what just happened. I don't even know what just happened. But the beauty of it is the game is so fast. I don't have to worry about it too much. Just go to the next game. Really would like to know what just happened. Because I was looking pretty good right there. But they did some kind of crap. Maybe that's that little card that they got from hunting so much. Alright, but hunting can be effective. We see that though. Alright, another game. Let's keep on going for a whole hour, I guess. Alright, Bruster Ricks. I think we just played you a second ago. Alright, got my got my finishers, but only got potential three land in hand. Do I want to be greedy? I got my unstoppable guy unless they silence it. Mm. Shouldn't keep hands like this, but let's see what happens if we do though. Alright, I got it. Two lands and land search. Not a smart keep, but we'll see what happens. Alright, got another searcher. Take two damage. Yeah, let's get a yellow. No, let's get a red. All right, got a yellow. Perfect. Let's go try to get a green. No, no green. Let's throw the yellow out there. Next turn, I get to play my guy that doesn't die unless they silence him pretty much or give him minus one, minus one <laughs> counters. All right, got two of them. I like it, I like it. Like this guy's devotion to blue, so when Jeral attacks, draw a card, discard it unless it's a spell. Plus two, plus two, and Berserk. Berserk is you must, Berserk is you can, you can exert it to swing twice in a turn. But then after that, then you get reckless, which means you have to attack every turn. Alright, so I can block. I'm not gonna die unless he makes me lose attack power. Unless he makes me lose. Go down to zero attack power. Alright, uh. Man, I could really use that green. I should have got a green somewhere back there. But anyway, uh, this guy has reckless, so it has to swing every time. But I'll just. I could plop another one down. But he might have a. He might have a way to. Silence the whole board, which I think you really need yellow to do that. So I'm just gonna swing and I think you kind of need yellow to silence, so I'll just put you out. So, and every time this guy swings, it gets it gets plus one more counters than last time. However you say that. <laughs> Alright, now I need to draw into some green. Alright, got my girl that I was looking for. Summon exhausting enemy unit. If it has endurance, deal six damage to it instead. You don't have endurance, but instead of wasting time, 
I mean, holding you up in the hand, I'll just go ahead and play you. Or she is a fire. Just to do charge and war cry. They got a Viking sound. I like that. Viking horn. Now, uh, they could ambush something in. Looks like Let's that's what they're thinking about doing. Still don't have a freaking green. Yeah, I gotta keep this because I can put any blue that he puts on the board on the bottom of the deck as long as he doesn't have Aegis. So, yeah, I'll keep that. Screw the green. I'm just running through him. Running through him, no hurdles. I prevent all damage and. Yeah, the card just prevented all damage. Uh, uh, and then when it takes damage, this turn kill it. Yeah, whatever. All right. Okay, silence an enemy relic or get one of your units plus six plus six this turn. Okay, now he got the Aegis. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's lethal unless he does something real tricky. <laughs> lethal unless they do something really tricky. Okay, so what could happen is, even if he uh, ambushes something in, flashes something in, I, I still have lethal, so. And then I can negate a spell and put it into their hand, so I'm pretty much golden right here. It gets plus five counters every time he swings, and now it's up to plus four. GG. Trying to think of how that hunt game went so against me. I think I was mana screwed that game. All right, with 52 minutes, one or two more games, and then I'll be out of here. Hopefully, can open up another pack. Good pack. A mythic. All right, three mana. I'll take it. an Asian player right here. Don't know what your name says. Let's get the red. The heavy red. We need to get that out. Arcane true heart. Let's try. No two drops, we'll play the Skyland. Uh, do we want that? Mm, yeah, we'll take that. Third turn. So this guy, she can't be attacked. She's invulnerable to damage on your turn. Weapons and curses can't be played on her. Glory Mastery so. 10. She gets plus 3, plus 3 in endurance. Another Scarland. Yeah, put you out. Get you, keep you. Might have should have went for the. Try to just get the board wipe out there, but okay. So you got a rainbow deck, which if you have rainbow, then you get plus two, plus two, and overwhelm. And then the wandering beholder, if it has triple rainbow, then it gets aegis, which is blocks one spell, double damage, and life steal, which is a fool. Now let's go. Green. Uh, 
uh, decay. So if I get hit with decay, that would give me permanently reduces the attack and and health of units and relic weapons and damages. So that would actually kill my Arcanum True Heart on the first turn. So I'm just gonna try to draw into my land to get a boil wipe. Just get that out of there before you get the Aegis. Alright, so they just got two greens and two purples. Wish they needed a purple pretty bad. Alright, they did that on my turn. cards in hand, I got six. Alright, perfect. Alright, hopefully we get to get one more game after this. Uh, yeah, let's... So one thing I could do is I could... Okay, they're... They're threatening... Yeah, I mean, they're threatening to get all that mana, that triple rainbow. So what I'm going to do, instead of just being greedy and putting you out, then boil wipe, I'm going to just go ahead and boil wipe now. Yeah, I'm boil wipe now. Best thing to do. Safest thing to do. Alright, they just, uh, killed my, uh, my relic, my, uh, Warp weapon, my warp relic. Uh, exhausted enemy unit. If it has endurance, deal six damage to it. All right, let's look in that graveyard. See if they got rid of anything with endurance. Nope. Uh, let's play my cheap guy that doesn't die unless he gets decayed, poisoned, countered. All right, transforms it into a pig that sucks, and then kills it. But they only have two in hand. I have six in hand um yeah both of y'all in my hand that's cool let's see what else is in the grave nothing uh yeah let's play charge and water charge is good. and war cry plus one plus one top unit of my deck or weapon draw two cards this is speed nothing gets through my flames my flames Gross. We both. Um. They have green, so they probably have boar wipes too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my warp card back out. Start the turn. I get to look at my top deck. After I draw, that is. Would you like to play? I only play the win. All right, play. Pay five and switch the raft to play a random unit with her attack and give it double damage. So she only has one, but after you twist it, then she'll go to two, three. Then you twist it again, then she'll go to three, two. But if you pump her with the weapon, then she can be really crazy. All right, um. You've only got two in hand. Um, I could play my. Of course, I'm gonna play warp this land in, and then, hmm, yeah, I got two cards I can play. Let's play two cards. Put you out there. Added the weapon that comes back plus five plus five. You got war cried a lot. Oh man, I thought I hit the swing button, man. Trying to play too fast. Tripping. I should still have a game. I only played a win. I only played a win. Right, now you got a bunch of stuff on field, but. Okay, I, I get to kill a multi faction unit by ETB in this, which I will kill this crazy guy right here. Something to be left well enough alone. 
Damn. All right, makes it more interesting. I messed up, but it's all good. All right, I got to trample a little bit there too. And then the good thing is I can recur this guy, but I won't do it right now. I can recur it with this spell or just getting rid of my relic. I can just recur him. Pay three and sacrifice Volk's heart and another relic to play Volk from your void. Then give her plus two, plus two. So, Raging Bull right there. Um, yeah, with that, that's her. Yeah, this last game. Need to go back to inscription, but all that this moving around was pissing me off, though. All right, double damage. And then you kill her, and then you play a five attack. Okay, divining rod would allow me to take two damage. Uh, no. No. Alright, um. I can play it safe, I could bore white, but that'll be stupid. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play the one drop. We fight to survive. And then I'm gonna play this divining rod. Play all units from the top four of my cards of my deck that share a battle skill with the wielder. Discard the rest, so of course it's gonna be charge. And. War cry and endurance. So I got a lot of guys with endurance, charge, and war cry. One, two, three, four. No luck there, but I'll swing out, and then I can kill both of those blockers, and maybe and not survive with you, but I can survive with her though. All right. All right, there's still one shy of that little triple rainbow. All right, that has charge, but I can block it. Really free. And in tune, play two, four, four ruin stalkers with flying. I really don't know why they don't show the set symbol on this stuff. It's crazy. Maybe they like it's too much visual overload, but I mean, not really. All right, I got the seven seven, but I'm lacking the red to play my finisher. But you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same darn thing, and I'll what probably get one see? free. They're probably gonna give up once it comes out. Ah, man, no luck again. All right, uh, I could bring some. I could bring a signal back. I've only got the one signal in the grave. Yeah, just swing out again. Nah, I just save you back to block. Even though this guy has trampled. I should have swung it. No, no, no still. Alright, they get two flyers. I definitely should have swung her. Uh, yeah, I'll pass turn. Alright, they got the triple rainbow. Still need a red mana to play my finisher. I should have saved my freaking uh, thing for you. Mm. Alright, so I can exhaust an enemy unit, which means that it can't block this turn. I do that. Or she is a fight! I get my fancy weapon out of the grave whenever I hit eight mana. And then I'll put it on my life stealer. Just to be a jerk. And then swing for lethal, unless they have an ambusher. Flasher. Or they have a kill spell. Okay, they drew two, they got a bunch of mana. Okay, kill a thing and give a void bound. Okay, yeah, that sucks. Alright, they got a spill. Alright. Then 
still life linking fire, so they're pretty much still out of there. Wish I could scry something to get you out of there. Well, now nah, I gotta keep you up there anyway. Uh, all right, so next turn I could, if I get nothing else, I can bring a sentinel back from the grave. Unleashes, you can keep on playing it as long as you can pay the price. You can keep on playing that same spell like um, Storm. Okay, you're playing my guy now. Maybe that is my guy. Huh? I don't know. No, it's probably your guy. Not from my deck, that is. Okay, this guy is safe. Um, so this guy can't die if there's anybody else on the field from their team. So, yeah. That's a hell of a combination because this guy doesn't die except for minus one, minus one counters. And then this guy has internal unless unless it's the only unit. I stopped running this for some reason because it's so yellow intensive. So much, it, yellow means so much, so much loyalty to yellow. Um, all right. So what I can do is I can silence everything after I swing though. So this has exalted. Life still in endurance. I could top deck one of my flying finishers. I could just silence everything. I think I'm just gonna waste this and just lifelink. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I got it. Nice. Rise up or be cut down. All right, so swing the 14, and then they give up. Man, that bar moves up so slow, but I mean, when you play all the time, it's like it moves up kind of fast. Yeah, I mean, they almost had me on that one, got me sweating a little bit. Yeah, I mean, their ending board was kind of nasty. Alright, 95, 313. Um, yeah, so all in all, that hunt can be scary. That hunt can be scary. But it's still usually no match for my charge sentinels. Alright. Be on the lookout for my Eternal, the physical card deck building dueling game. And like, comment, subscribe. Folio Games. Spark.